Welcome back to video number eight. You're here with Tony B, of course, on healing art, or art, as I always say, that has the potential to help you heal yourself. So uh, in this video, uh, we are going to be discussing uh, the image itself, because obviously, look, I've talked about the elements. There are many elements in here, um, and we've talked about the symbology. We've talked about the crystal. Now we're going to talk about the actual uh, image not the colours. We're going to deal with the colours in the next video. We're going to see what you see. So I want you to just really focus on uh, this image right now as you're looking at it and, and think about what meaning you give to this image. Yeah, What do you see in this image? Because what you see is potentially a reflection reflection of your energy and it gives the opportunity to look to heal whatever it is that you may see. So every human, because we're individualized, is going to have a different experience as they look at this image. So forget the colours for the moment, but let's look at the, the movement, the shape. What do you see as you look at this? Now, it's difficult because obviously I'm not interacting with you as an individual, but let me share. Look, when I painted this, um, I didn't necessarily have this. I, how I paint this is another whole video. Yeah? But actually what we end up with is an image which you can give meaning to. Now, interestingly, the meaning you give to anything in your life then becomes part of the expression of the experience that you then have from it. Yeah. So look, if you, for example, I, I remember one lady who I met who um, consistently had thoughts about being run over by a, a lorry, believe it or not. Yeah. And she consistently kept thinking that one day she was going to get run over by a lorry. Now, this is not smart thinking, of course, and she now knows that um, because anything you consistently think, um, you're likely to bring about experience in your life, into your life. That experience that you keep thinking about is likely to come into your life. And, you know, lo and behold, she was actually run over by a lorry and she was dragged by this lorry, um, you know, fair way down the road and ended up in hospital for a year. Now, she always said, look, you know, uh, there's this great saying that says, how can this moment of madness, this moment of, you know, th there's probably one of our darkest moments in our life. How could this be the most amazing thing that ever happened in our life? Now, this is a switch of meaning. So she always talks about it's the meaning she gave to the accident, not the accident itself. Because, look, she could just be a, a victim of the lorry driver doing too fast or whatever. She chose to give it a meaning that empowered her. So even though it took her a long time to recover, she gave this a special meaning. And after the accident, her whole life, because her whole life now had a new meaning, she started to experience a new, more empowered life. And she healed and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. So. When we look at this image, we are going to give it automatically give it some meaning. And it's that meaning that we give it that is going to give us some clues as to make what may need healing inside of us. Now, as I say, we're right out on the, the right wing here with the esoteric world. But look, even though I created this, I create it in the moment. And um, and basically, as I look at it today, I sort of see a bit of a red pathway here leading through a sort of tunnel. Yeah? And, 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 and I've got this sort of bridge going across here. Um, but basically, it's like a swirl of energy leading to the light, at, sort of like the light at the end of the tunnel almost. Well, that's what I see. What do you see? Yeah, And um, what you see is super important. And that, what you do see, um, can be talked about, chatted through, and then we can work on, you know, it will give us clues. That's my thing, is that the universe, as I always say, um, is giving us clues. It's giving us signs. So this painting is a sign to you or anybody that looks at it. And and, it, and the meaning that you give to it is a sign. Yeah. And we can then, in, in, in a healing sense, use that sign to see what needs um, to be dealt with, what indeed maybe needs to be healed, either emotionally, physically, that sort of stuff. So I don't know what you see, but have a quick you know, maybe put the, the video on hold and stare at this image for the moment. You know, just give it a really close look and go, yeah, what do I see? What do I see? 
um, and because that is, you know, the universe communicating with you um, and it's giving you clues. Yeah. And it's those clues that we can work with to start to heal ourselves. So that's it. It's about the movement of the picture, the meaning you give to it. And that's something, you know, if we were working together, then we would actually chat about and see if we could um, what we could use from that chat to then start to uh, learn to heal yourself. Yeah. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to cover just uh, very simply about the colours, maybe a little bit about the meanings of those colours. Uh, so that's it from me. Bye for now.